I love you, Laverne. You've got the cutest little face, Laverne. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. Bedouins are descendants of nomads that lived in the Arabian and Syrian deserts. Today, they live a lot like their ancestors did hundreds of years ago. I went to meet with some of the Bedouins who work at the Fenan Eco Lodge, a self-sustaining hotel hidden deep in the southern Jordanian desert. Every day you enjoy the landscape and it's amazing, crazy. Oh, yeah. My friend Suleiman, a 26-year-old Bedouin, was kind enough to give me a tour of his tribe's settlement that surrounds the lodge. When you live in a tent, do you change with the seasons? At least twice a year we have to move, for summer and winter. OK. But where they put up their tent isn't just about location. In our culture, Bedouin, we say, before you choose where to live, know who's your neighbor first, and then decide to you move there or not. That is very smart. You yeah. would go crazy in New York City. We all live like this. Yeah. I can hear everything my neighbor does. No, here we are so lucky about living outside. Yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> the best lifestyle. And on our way to Suleiman's tent, I got to meet some of his furry little friends that provide milk and meat for the family. Does this one have a name? No, but you can give this one a name. OK, I will name you Laverne. Laverne, OK. Laverne. I will let my family know about the name. Thank you. Suleiman showed me his family home, where I got to see some Bedouin traditions that are centuries old. So is this the main house where you guys live? So this is actually our tent. This tent is divided. This is the men's side, actually. And behind this, this is the women's side. Oh, OK. If this is the men's side, yeah. do women ever come in here or no? You know, the family together, they always sit together, okay. eat together. But I mean, if someone not from different tribe come, the women will go to the women's side. So I'm then... supposed to be on the other side right now. <laughs> In Bedouin culture, hospitality reigns supreme. And to help me feel at home, Suleiman's dad, Abu, made bread for us to share. He added water to the flour, kneaded the dough, and placed it into the dirt pit. Then the bread was covered with ash and firewood to cook for 15 minutes on each side. It's done. Isn't it hot? It's hot, but he, he managed. Careful, he's, careful. Uh, he's fine. Oh, bad bread. This is good. You can get your aggression out on the bread. It looks delicious. I would give you this piece. It's the best one. Hot. <laughs> Ow. But it's nice and crusty on the outside and doesn't taste a bit ashy. But their hospitality didn't stop with the bread. Next up, coffee, which in these parts is very expensive. The Arabic coffee, it's not a drink that you have every day. Why not? What we, is it? We drink it in special occasions. So you roast it in this one for roasting. OK. Grinding it, here. You grind and when it. you do that sound, it means you invite your neighbors to come. Oh, I called the whole village. Oh, they, we are very happy all the village come and we give them coffee here. I have... Yes. And then after that, the host should drink one cup in front of the guests. Oh, to make sure that it's not poisoned. To make sure it's not poisonous, To also the guests will feel safe about it. So tasty. So tasty. Shokran. I have one. OK, so we go like this? Yes. Oh, I'd like a second one. <laughs> My dad, he asked if you like it. I love it. Well, Good. Oh. If you ever find yourself in the southern Jordanian desert, ask for Suleiman and Abu, and you'll have the time of your life. Abdul Khaled. Shokran. Have fun. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I get a beauty makeover. Bedouin, or as some may say, Baby Jane style. Ooh. Download the Yahoo app to your phone or tablet. 